welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a how-to video. It's going to be very interesting because we're going to turn any lustry glossy lipstick into a matte lipstick, aka kind of looking like a liquid lipstick. And I know that's super popular right now. Personally, all I wear on my lips normally is a matte shade. I tend to always opt for a matte shade. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like so freaking obsessed with it. I have two different ways to show you guys how to do it. One, there's a product that came out that does it. I'm going to share it with you. It's really freaking cool. I'll demo it out too. And two, there's a DIY way that I'm going to be showing with you that I learned off of Pinterest. I learned everything off of Pinterest. I'm really excited you're here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Subscribe before you leave because there's a lot of cool, awesome videos going on on this channel and I don't want you to miss out. Join the YouTube fam jam today. You can click right here or if you're on your cell phone, you can click down below because that is where the subscribe button is. Chances are it's probably down here and I'm pointing down here. <gasps> Hope you're excited to see the video. We're gonna jump right in. Get started. The first way to get that matte lip out of any lipstick is a new product from Smashbox. This video isn't sponsored by this product or by Smashbox or anything like that. I just got it and it's amazing. So I wanna share with you guys, but I do have a DIY way I'm about to show you. But anyways, this is Insta Matte, so you can put it on top of any like luster or glossy lipstick, and it basically turns it into a liquid lipstick, or it gives you that nice flat matte finish, which is so popular right now. So we're going to be using a lipstick. I happen to have a Smashbox one, but I'll also test it out with a MAC one as well. But this one's called Inspiration, and it's a luster, so it's glossy looking whenever you finish applying it. So I'm going to demo it out and show you guys how we're going to make this matte. Alright, so we have fully applied a regular lustry lipstick, so now we're going to apply the Insta Matte and we're going to make it a matte lippy. So it comes in a tube like this, it's like a lip gloss. Just like that, easy peasy lemon squeezy, our lips are just as matte as they can be. This is an absolutely amazing product. One recommendation I have for you, obviously wipe it off whenever you get done so your next color, or like push out the excess so that your next color doesn't have the pink in it, like if you want it to wear a different color. Another recommendation I have for you when using this is to only use a little bit of product and try to like smooth it out as much as you can. You can even use like a lip brush or something like that. This is not a lip brush, I just use it as a lip brush because I like to break rules and stuff like that, but just disperse the product out so it doesn't become chunky too, so you can get like those edges on your mouth and get them matte as well, so you don't have like some shine going on there. Um, but it's a really cool product, very easy to use, just very simple product to use, so and I think it's an amazing invention. Now we'll try it out with a MAC lipstick just to show you it works with different brands other than just Smashbook, book, Smashbox products because. I mean, that way you won't have to buy all Smashbox lipsticks to be able to use it because that would defeat the purpose of making every lipstick matte. So we're going to try it out with this next. So, yay! Now I am applying Blankety, which is a, let's see, an Amplify. So it has a lot of pigment in it. That's what that means by MAC, but it's also like a luster. It's very glossy looking once you get it on. I'm going to apply, and we're going to do the Instant Matte with this lipstick. Need I mention that Blankety is one of my favorite lipsticks ever? Here is Blankety with the Instant Matte on top. It works very well. I really like the product. Honestly, it turns it into like a soft matted lip cream, so it's a little bit more moisturizing than just wearing a matte liquid lipstick, so it's beneficial in that way. Um, I like the product. I don't think it's too gimmicky or weird. I think it works. I just think you have to apply a little, and it is truly best just to kind of buff it out with a brush around the corners of your mouth to go back in just to get all the corners really nude where your lipstick is glossy. That way you have like a nice even finish of matteness if that makes any sense that's my rundown on creating any lipstick being matte with this product now I'm going to show you a DIY way if you don't want to get this product on how to do it I have gone ahead and applied the bonnet by MAC cosmetics to my lips now the trick is to take an eyeshadow shade that is matte that has no shimmer in it that is similar to the color on your lips that's right. And you're just going to gently take an eyeshadow brush and dab it onto the lip color and it will mattify any lipstick. And look how matte my lips turn out. And honestly, to me, this looks better than a liquid lipstick just because you're not going to deal with any of that dry cracking. See? It's just very 
very smooth application whenever you do this. I did totally darken up my lip because the eyeshadow shade was bitten by Makeup Geek. So it's just like a little bit of a darker shade. Um, and I knew that going into it because I didn't have an eyeshadow that was quite that bright in red color um, that was matte and didn't have any shimmer, but that's okay because I like this color better actually. But just a quick tip, if you were going for a you know matte pink lip and you didn't have a matte pink eyeshadow, you can also use a matte blush. Or if you were going for a brownish lip color that had shine in it and you wanted to take the shine out, you could do a matte bronzer on top. Just any matte powder or makeup product, set it on top and it will mattify your lipstick. It's an absolutely amazing trick. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for being here and watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.